I always like to treat each first aid kit like it's a survival kit, because in a way it is. It is helping you survive. So to that end, I always add in a lighter to the first aid kit. This can disinfect metal tools that I might be needing, like scissors or tweezers. And of course, it can start us a fire, and we could even use it for light to see. A Swiss Army knife or some similar tool will give us the ability to cut, slice, chop, drill, and perform a lot of other survival tasks. Plus, the little scissors are great for trimming up the bandages and dressings. Another thing to put in the first aid kit is a space blanket. So even in a small kit like this one, I can cram in a compact space blanket. The space blanket is good for survival purposes. It's also good for managing shock, which is part of your medical needs. Another thing to put in a basic medical kit is some kind of light. If someone gets injured at nighttime, you want to be hands-free and yet have a light. So a headlamp is the perfect choice for both of those reasons. An upgraded medical kit could be useful for hunters, rock climbers, anybody that's doing some serious outdoor activity, larger dressings, bigger rolls of tape, a quick clot sponge. This will stop bleeding from major lacerations, puncture wounds, gunshot wounds, and an Israeli bandage. This is one of the large field dressings used on the battlefield, even to this day. A self-adhesive wrap can hold all of your dressings in place and stabilize injured joints. So can a triangle bandage. A triangle bandage can make a sling. It can be used for head wounds, for lots of different purposes. EMT shears might be needed to cut off clothing or cut through different materials. All of this gear can be crammed into a modular kit which has lots of pouches and pockets to hold your equipment. And of course you want to let everybody know that it is a first aid kit. For more from Tim McWelch, pick up his Prepare for Anything and Hunting and Gathering Survival Manuals at OutdoorLife.com forward slash McWelch. TacLad Pro Pant was modeled after our legendary tactical pant and offers all the quality and utility you'd expect from 5.11.
Now this pant is lightweight and breathable and has a cotton poly ripstop fabric blend for outstanding comfort and performance in hot or humid environments. Now they're ideal for hiking, hunting, or any other outdoor activity. And we've given you a seven pocket configuration along with our signature strap and slash pockets. Now these pants have an action waistband and a fully gusseted crotch for complete freedom of movement. They've been treated with a Teflon coating to protect against stains, moisture, and soil. This is the 511 Taclite Pro Pant. The new turkey vest from Night and Hail, the RNG 200. It's a very tight fitting vest. On the left side of here, we have two dedicated pot call pots, four striker holes right behind it. We've got a dedicated box call pocket on the bottom on the left side. On the right side, we've got some standard pockets. We've got these quick dry diaphragm holders. Behind that, we have more pockets. We have an easy access pocket. It's got almost 200 square inches of space in the pack on the back. To fit this correctly, we recommend starting your adjustments in the back. You can loosen or tighten this. You can adjust the back and then adjust the front to lower or raise it to where you need it to be. The seat system is a cinching seat system where it can easily go from stowed to deployed with one hand. As you can see, it's got everything you need for a successful hunt.